uh, there have been some trades made already. I think we have to go back and look at Lindholm in Vancouver, Monaghan in Winnipeg, Labushkin in Toronto. Uh, but seriously, what, what can we expect, Eric, do you think, between now and next Friday? Well, I think the, the big name left on the Calgary board is Noah Hannafin. And, uh, and, and, and that, that is a really interesting evolving case because, you know, I've watched Noah Hannafin almost from the minute that he arrived in Calgary and there were real flaws in his game. I think that was one of the reasons that Carolina was prepared to trade him to Calgary in, in the first place. But this guy is, I give him a ton of credit because he has become a like an above average consistent night after night minute munching big bodied can do everything for you defenseman and he's playing the best hockey of his career right now the last month you know you would sometimes you think that a player's play will fall off when his name is mentioned in all these uh, trade talks he's he's never played better he's been very very good for them and 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 they they want to keep him they want to keep him and and you know they've 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 talked and then talks have died and then it, it's just gone back and forth like a like a yo yo and and I I truly believe they are going to make one last push or pitch to get him signed because it, you know privately they would probably tell you that the minute you trade a Noah Hannafin you're out there looking for one and you can't find one so right. only when it gets to that point where they are a hundred percent sure it can't be done and I don't think they're there yet then you know, they'll, they'll take the best offer. And, and what will that be? I, you know, like Noah Hannafin signed to a contract extension, I think would, would get you what Boston got for Hampus Lindholm. Noah Hannafin as a guy who wants to go to market in July 1st, doesn't have as much value, right. but, but he is a guy that can be a difference maker. So I, I just wonder what general manager needing a guy who can like, he can play in the top two, uh, as a as a trade deadline reinforcement, how big they're prepared to go to bring him in? You know, what I, I have money. I, do you think he he's going to ask for? Or is that the, money that, the money that Calgary has on the table right now, Bob, is eight years at seven five, and that hasn't got it done. So, wow. um, so, and 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 a lot of people will tell you that's a lot for Noah Hannafin, and and it probably is. But what? I, but the other thing is, again, you know, I mean, I watch him a lot. And 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 I think I've been you know critical at different stages of his career of his game that you know like he just makes too many mistakes and and turns the wrong way sometimes and and just you know there were there were questions about his hockey sense when he first came into the NHL but again I'll repeat that you know some guys just they they plateau and then their their careers are in a straight line after that they don't get any better they don't get any worse they have a a period of time where they're they they're, they're, they just are who they are. He's yeah. one of those rare players that has incrementally gotten better and better and smoothed out the rough edges of his game. And at 27, you know, he's better than you think if you haven't paid attention lately. Well, right. I'll tell you what, the Flames did make one last gasp to, to uh, make sure that Chris Tanev stayed a Calgary Flame for a while. That didn't happen, Scotty. He ended up going to Dallas. And you wrote yesterday uh, on your website um, how much uh, time you have for Jim Nill. And what Jim Neal tries to do in Dallas, and Dallas seems to be one of those teams that's always going for broke, aren't they? Well, you know, it's a, it's one thing to be able to to bring you know the big names in, and uh, but the Dow, you know, Jim Neal has done he's done his job as a GM, which is to both draft and develop astutely. They have terrific young players coming through the pipeline. Uh, Stankoven, is that am I even saying that name right? Stankoven, I mean, yeah. Stankoven uh, is a great example of that. Uh, you know, the leading scorer in the uh, uh, American Hockey League he comes in. Tyler Sagan's out for a long time, comes in, doesn't miss a beat. Um, and then you bring in, you, you know, I, I think Hannafin's probably the top defender on the on the market before next Friday. But Chris Tanev is people love Chris Tanev like crazy, right? I mean, the way he plays personality you know he is the complete package he's not going to roll up points but Dallas doesn't need him to he doesn't Jim Neal doesn't give up his top couple of prospects he gives up a, a defenseman that I think the Flames like but he isn't considered their top the star's top prospect on the on the back end doesn't give up a first round pick it's you know it it's a great deal for the Dallas Stars and for Jim Neal and I think Again, you never know how these things are going to work out. But to me, Chris Tanev is is almost the perfect 
ad. He's like when the Tampa got Barkley Goudreau.